Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Hey, you guys. And... Uh, Welcome in this uh, in this video. We're gonna take a little peek into a Virgo Sun Moon and Rising weekly reading uh, or you know weekly forecast through the prism of uh, tarot cards. So uh, for that purpose, uh, give me a couple of seconds just to shuffle the cards and we can jump right into it. So I think that's good enough and uh, let's see now the first card which will stand for the topic of your week uh, Libra that uh, Virgo excuse me it's Virgo that will be a the Wheel of Fortune so we are off to a, a very very good start here with the challenges that we do have that is to be the moon so what these two cards are pointing of some moves which are to be open to for you to do you know moves that are coming out of the blue out of nowhere um a moves that you haven't even had in the in the most optimistic dreams of yours right so that this is this is a thing which is a jail free card for example right and Nonetheless, it will seem a bit risky, okay? With the Moon card on a challenging position, the whole thing that you ain't going to be able to predict with a great amount of certainty what is going to happen after you take or do these moves, you know, or take advantage of this opportunity. Because the Wheel of Fortune, it's, it is a card which points that there will be a chaos in this week, but the good thing is that this chaos is not going to affect you in any way. Just on the contrary, this chaos is going to work in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune is the card of the strong. And I will explain you why. Because only the weak are seeking for order. The strongest. Well, they do prefer to rule the chaos. And you, my friends, are having this opportunity this week to rule the chaos into your relationship or into your career. It doesn't really matter. And like I said, your biggest concern with the moon card into a negative position this week is going to be what comes out of it. All right. So it's no different than um, <clears throat> being worried for, I don't know, I don't know how to really express it here. Um, I, 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 a person who has a great uh, capabilities, but is apprehensive to oppress those abilities because they fear that the consequences are going to be rather there all right so the third card which stands for the positive aspect of your week that is going to be the four of cups and the last one here it is the seven of pentacles which stands for the guidance and um Oh, the week, uh, the week looks uh, uh, really good in a sense of that. Uh, even though you may kind of feel this uh, apprehension uh, within yourself, not to make your move. Now that I think of, there is a, even an example when so. All right, so let's say that you are single for a quite a long time, and you um, literally have lost a, a a fate or a clamor is the is the right word here. 
that you are to face someone rather compatible with you, all right? And out of the blue, such person comes around, but you have committed, committed for example, toward a, a, a different enterprises, like, for example, your job, hobbies, and these kind of stuff. And you may be rather quite worried that if you invest into it and it doesn't work out, it actually bounces you back quite of a long run, all right? So it's, it's such kind of a... Uh, dilemma or rather like a such kind of a, a fear it is what you are going to experience but that isn't isn't a bad thing as a matter of fact with the rest of the cards the third and the fourth card it looks like that you are going to uh obtain control over yourself and the more you think about it here uh, the more uh, convinced you are going to become what is going to be the right move for you to do in order to uh, diminish severely or even completely extinguish any kind of a um, any kind of a chances that you are to lose something and to scope the right moments of action because this is what the seven of pentacles is all about but uh, just to close the viber here but uh, before we go and scrutinize the reading card by card let's run the cards down one more time so we do have the wheel of fortune as a, a topic followed by the moon here as a, a challenge afterwards what we do have it is the four of cups which stands as a positive aspect and the final one virgo here it is the seven of pentacles which represents the guidance so the wheel of fortune i pretty much explained what does it mean it means um, um a, a sign of change you know or a, a a changing circumstances once in a lifetime opportunity as well it, it pretty much usually uh, manifests itself in an area that you feel extremely stuck in it's like there is no fresh air whatsoever and suddenly all the windows are blown up and the fresh air streams from everybody of course it does make chaos around you know all that wind and all that things but you get to pick up all these pieces flying around and construct whatever you want. So it's a, a big breakthrough that will be offered to you from the circumstances or if you will, you know, from the uh, from the universe itself. So that is the wheel of fortune. I hope that you will, that you are not going to be scared to such an extent that even seeing, you know, how the window is opening in front of you and, and, and the opportunity which is presented not to take a participation into it. The accompanied card here is going to be the temperance formation. It is a uh, active supporters. So with the temperance card, that, that, that gives us a hint that you can actually make the, ex, um, how do you say it, flawless maneuver here in order to, like I said, diminish everything that uh, kind of oppose a pressure and as well danger from the whole, from the whole endeavor and from the whole thing. Like I, may, like I mentioned, you know, you may meet someone this, this week or you may be introduced to a new project or to, to a new business partner. Or for example, if you are looking for a home and you almost gave up hope here searching for the perfect home well maybe this week is going to be your lucky week where the perfect home because this is a combination of perfection the temperance here points that that will be everything you have expected all right well it's gonna have also downsides but at that point with these two cards these downsides are gonna be just a trifle so you're not gonna pay attention to them at all it's because the positive sides are completely overshadowing you know the the negative sides because with the temperance everything it's like a um it's like a coin it has s and tails you know and uh, you can't have the s without the tail but the tail is going to seem completely negligible here because you're going to be more than happy to deal with it for the reason that the positive aspects of it are something you would love to have on your side which leads us to the next card here that will be the challenge like i said the moon card now the moon is a card that breaks vagueness insecure sense of insecurity rumors at some point as well but literally what the moon points here and uh, i had it in a reading very very recently you know um a uh the customer asked um, am I uh, gonna be better off uh, staying where I am or should I travel into a new location and reallocate? And the moon card came up for the uh, stay, for the place where she uh, where the, the client, which is she is. And uh, pretty much the moon card says that you are where you're supposed to be because the moon card expresses up the path here 
that you are supposed to walk. Yeah, it goes beyond the summit, which means that you can't really predict where it goes, you know, but it's definitely your path to walk. In one way or another, you are destined to reach the, des the destination which is here displayed beyond the summit, all right? So why don't you just take this awesome opportunity here, maybe once in a lifetime, having it, you know, as a, um, as a trump in your sleeve and walk the path that way instead of betting on the unknown, all right? The accompanied card is going to be the king of swords for what it seems. So the formation, it is a passive neutrals. With the king of swords, <clears throat> It does look like that you, uh, well, I, I will be honest here, Virgo, you alone are making the things are as difficult as they are. Now, with the King of Swords to the Moon card as a, a passive neutral, so you pretty much have all the arguments, guys, and all the information you need. It is for some reason you are either twisting it in a way that you refuse to accept it in its true version, or you are ignorant to it because you don't want to believe what really is. Okay, uh, no different than, for example, you know, that handsome person comes around if you're following this example and uh, you decline the offer not because you don't want to be with the person, but because you think that you are either not good enough or because you think that they're going to cheat on you while in the same time, every single argument and every single proof that this person is of, is presenting to you says other way around. It's kind of like you become a victim to your own fear and sense of insecurity. And uh, well, in our country, we say it complexes. When I say complex, it's like a, uh, a thing that you want to be, but you can't. All right. So there are people who want to be rich. And when we say you show off complexes where you're when you're poor, you know, it is when you give up your last money for something that you can live without. All right. You can live without, but you are giving it. So you kind of burst through a complex that you don't have money. It's it's I know it's, it sounds weird, but we do have it here in our country. Anyway, so that leads us to the third card that displays the positive aspect. And that is going to be the four of cups. Now, very important card here, guys. Now, the four of cups tells us a couple of things here. First of all, it tells us that you have been staying way too long on the same place where you are. And like I said, the will of fortune always manifests itself into a field where one needs a, a desperate breakthrough one needs something one needs something to happen you know whatever so one can feel that fresh wind well that thing happens so this card points that you have like i said sat down way too long onto your position and now you know that opportunity comes around but the wheel of fortune the not the wheel of fortune but the four of cups here virgo urges you to rely on to your onto your mental strength rather than on your Mm, emotional standpoints because the emotional standpoint leads you to, leads you toward the past the mental strength meaning being objective toward the arguments and toward the proofs you have is going to reveal you that opportunity and it's going to allow you to take it the accompanied card is going to be the two of swords formation it is a, a passive neutrals once again so it's it's a pretty much these cards are pointing out a uh, way out of the uh, of a magic circle really in a sense of that uh, even though uh, it's kind of like I don't know how you say it in America or in English the benefit of the of the doubt probably that you know it's easy to make an excuse and to continue sitting into the same position but just as easily you know you can make an argument and walk away from it so you the, here uh, the way i see it is that you do have a choice and that is the positive aspect that you do have a choice all right to either um it's not even risk it, but let's say having a clamorous belief that this is what you are destined for, or this is what you have worked for and take it. Or you may be afraid to the bones and just say, well, you know what, I'm just comfortable where I am while knowing that that is not going to last for long. And uh, the last one here is going to be the guidance, which is the Seven of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting. It is a card of catching up your breath, meaning that you don't have to rush it at all, right? As a matter of fact, the Seven of Pentacles, additionally to these circumstances that are happening chaotically around you, allowing you to restructure 
whatever you are trying to fight for into your marriage or into your career or whatever, that awesome opportunity coming around. <clears throat> Excuse me. It also points that there will be uh, a a faithful event that is lurking just behind the corner, and you need to have that patience to wait for that event. All right. So the way I see it in this week, the majority of the week is where you are gathering up on information, where you are um, drawing the line and kind of like trying to um, how do you say it to account for your assets and, and for your benefits as well, as well and for your losses and all these kind of stuff. So you do have uh, the full picture in front of you. And once that event happens, then having the full picture in front of you, knowing what you're capable of, what you can work with and all these kind of stuff, you take full advantage of it. But definitely it's, it's important not to rush it with the Seven of Pentacles here because rushing it, it, it doesn't mean that you're going to ruin anything or, or like that, but it means that you may be in a danger to spend way, way more than you actually have to. Now, the accompanied card is going to be the world and that is the, the deal closer here that we do have with these two cards. Passive supporters, it's, it's, a typical, um, it's a typical combination of where with one shot you basically kill two birds, all right? That, that, is, that is your thing, all right? That is where, for example, just to give you an example, let's say that you want to get divorced, all right? Uh, but uh, your wife or your husband, ex-wife or ex-husband is giving you really a rough time and you simply cannot come into terms with them. Well, guess what? This week, it's the circumstances will align the things that way that not just only you're going to have your divorce signed, but as well, you know, you may pull out of it more than you actually hoped for, right? That is the deal sealer here. Whatever you want to accomplish, guys, that you are struggling right now up until this week, well, guess what? It does look like that... Um, the winds are going to change in your favor. And um, I hope that you are not afraid to make the move when the move is necessary. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, for a August 12th to August um, 18th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we are going to see each other around. And until then, bye.